We're out here uh, as part of the MUCAX uh, combined arms exercise and this part uh, we're out at range 051 doing counter ID training. Uh, today we had uh, several scenarios set up where uh, we had IEDs in place in uh, realistic scenarios so it was uh, the job of my team to go and render safe those devices, uh, minimize hazards to the populace and preserve uh, life and property. I'm a 2336 Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician with Combat Logistics Battalion 11. My, my favorite part of training is teaching the new guys stuff that I learned a long time ago, stuff that I uh, figured out on my own, or stuff that I've been taught by the, my predecessors. Teaching people to uh, think outside the box, I know that's a uh, cliche, but uh, being ingenuitive and being adaptive to your surroundings. I, I guess a lot, of, a lot of guys name their robots. I always call it Wally just because I like that movie, but um, it's just, it's just a, uh, an addition to us. It's a, kind of a prosthesis, but it makes it so that I don't have to be on top of a hazard to make sure that it's safe. Uh, I can send the robot down there and have the robot do everything, uh, or I can use it just as an intermittent uh, remote procedure. But uh, the robot's a lot cheaper and uh, a lot less mentally detrimental to replace than an uh, EOD technician. Plus, you don't have to spend nine months training them, you just buy one. So it's important for us to be well trained for this deployment. We, we complement the MUSE mission of being a force of readiness around the world. And uh, doing, doing training like this, it, like I said, it keeps us, keeps us up to date on our skill sets. It helps us evolve our TTPs. Um, a lot of these guys are a lot smarter than I am. And uh, having them come up with ways to kill me in training is uh, the best way for us to learn how to protect ourselves in the real world. First Lieutenant Stephen Hunter. So the training's really cool. They have these uh, big, huge robots, sort of like Skynet from Terminator. So you can actually program scenarios into the robots where you could do like a hostage scenario where one of them in the middle is a hostage and you have to shoot the ones around them and they'll bum rush if that one gets shot. So they're all talking to each other. They're really cool because it puts a lot more of the, here's how hard it is when a target's actually moving into it. They 
they're just kind of moving around, so you have to make sure. You think you need to lead them, but then you don't because you remember how, fa how fast bullets are. So you got to remember to breathe, and it's a whole different discipline than when you're sitting there taking nice controlled breaths and doing it. You're, you're like, okay, i got to remember to breathe, i got to remember I'm moving. So, But most of the old guys have had some kind of experience being shot at, being in firefights. And with the way AFSOC EOD is going, we're hoping to be involved in, a, in more of those kind of forward action type missions anyways. With that being the case, we're going to need these to hone these skills so that they don't have to worry about you and they can take care of their mission, you can take care of your mission. It needs to be second nature so that you don't have to worry about learning that while you're worrying about doing your job in a new scenario. Um, as many things as can be second nature should be second nature.